Last week on Thursday, Clemens senior quarterback Max DiDomenico tweeted he's going to Army to continue his athletic and academic career. Max had already signed with Tyler Junior College, but their head coach told Max if he got a better opportunity to go for it, and he did. Max says he doesn't understand why he and his good friend Jordan Battles from Holy Cross didn't get more love from D1 programs. You know, before this opportunity, I was I was pretty like I was pretty down, you know, uh, it, it was different. Um, not like to a depressed standpoint, yeah. but just to a standpoint where I was like, man, why am why aren't I getting these opportunities? Or you look at Jordan Battles, who's one of my good friends. I'm like sure. me and Jordan were like, why aren't we? You know, like we have all these stats. We, we play against each other like we play big time football, but we just don't get the looks. And, you know, it was I think he was kind of in the same boat as me, just not so much depressed, but just kind of like, why? Yeah. Questioning each other. So I'm going in with a little chip on my shoulder. You know, I'm, I'm, I think that I have to prove myself, but uh, I'm real thankful. Honestly, I'm real thankful, real excited, so. Turning to college football, Incarnate Word will finally kick off their season tomorrow at number 19 McNeese State, a Southland Conference matchup. UIW last played a game back in November 2019. They were supposed to open their season last Saturday at home at Sam Houston, but Mother Nature messed that up. Last week was was a little bit different, just the nature coming and six degree weather and and you know no water. We kind of went into survival mode, but but yeah, I mean I think um, they're excited. I'm happy for them to finally get out there and get the opportunity. We've had to watch a lot of football games this year, so finally for that to uh, to come to fruition and for us to be able to step out there together and play, uh, you know we're fired up. Spirits are high. Um, what happened last week was unfortunate, but. The fact that we have to move on to the next one, and that's uh, this next game with the McNeese. We're excited about it. Spirits are high, and uh, we're ready to get rolling. The Cardinals left on four buses at noon today, headed for Lake Charles and McNeese State. Kick is noon tomorrow. SAISD will be represented at this year's UIL State Swimming and Diving Championships. Edison's senior diver Christian Ron Hill is making his second straight appearance at the meet after a top 10 finish last season. Ron Hill only started diving three years ago, and now he's a two-time state qualifier. As he prepares for his final dive as a Golden Bear, Ron Hill says he's focused on doing the best he can. It will be my last diving event for my senior year, so each dive I'm going to think about it as the very last dive that I'll ever do. And, you know, a, a fun little thing that I like to do is pretend that, you know, I'm at the Olympics and pretend that instead of, you know, 20 plus people watching, there's a thousand plus people watching. And that kind of gives me that, that confidence and walk in there with like just a tiny little chip on my shoulder. Competition begins this Saturday morning at Josh Davis Natatorium. Ron Hill also said that he's planning on diving in college here in town at Trinity University, and I like his mental approach as he yeah. does that. I think that's pretty cool. That's one of the hardest things to watch, though, because they're so close to the diving board when they do some of those. I know. It's like, man, that's <laughs> that's a, three inspiring. years? He's only been diving for three years. Yeah. I know, but the things you can do, right? I wonder what sports he was involved in before. Yeah, I'm not sure, he's but definitely he's nailing it. this one, that's yeah. for sure. All right, thanks, Larry. Congratulations <laughs> to him and good luck. All right, let's uh, go downtown. Oh, Mike and Fiona are together today. Wow. Yes, yes indeed. Oh, we'll drink to that. Better have all the drinks. That's what it was. <laughs> yes, we are <laughs> drinking to that. And you can't do it. A new spot on the south side. And Bonnie Robles from Rooster's Backyard Hi. Ice House is here. We Thank have to you. drink first, don't we? Yeah, yes. cheers. Mm. And you've got lots of free stuff, right? Lots. T-shirts, food, great drinks, so much to do. Um, we'll let you know when. Yeah, and we'll tell you when you can go there to get some of that free stuff and even some free food. Yep, and speaking of free food, how about kolaches? Everybody loves kolaches. Not today, but we are going to tell you when. And from the kolache factory, oh my goodness, all flavors, all shapes, all yum. sizes. Oh, yum. <laughs> yes, and after <laughs> all good. that free food, we're taking up gym time with this fun game that We'll get the whole family moving. Yep, Giselle Cavillo from Mixfit SA. Hey, can you spell your name? That's all it takes for this workout. Nice and fun and easy. <laughs> all about easy, but. And tomorrow <laughs> is National Pokemon Day, and we have great gift ideas for fans young and young at heart. Doesn't that bring back some great memories, you know, Pokemon, maybe when you were little or when the kids were little or something like that. So what is it that you really loved as a kid that you still really love today? <laughs> is it a cartoon? Is it a toy? Yeah, maybe you still have some of those toys. If you've yes. got a picture of that, hey, share it at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we may see that during the show. That and a lot more coming up on SA Live, so stick around on this Friday.
never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. So your weekend is not going to be a washout fog and drizzle each morning, but it really won't be until later Sunday, Sunday night into Monday that we'll see our highest coverage of some showers and storms move in. So really Monday more of a washout than the weekend, but it will be warmer and very humid over the next few days. Guys, thank you, Katie. And Finally, Friday. That's all oh, of yeah. our show for now. So you know what that means. They've got food, they've got drink, and then they've got Giselle Cavillo to work it all off of them. So wow. they've got the complete show today. And I can guarantee you, Giselle will work it off of them. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <laughs> Look at the food. I didn't know kolaches came in you so know, many shapes and sizes. We don't stand a fighting chance. <laughs> uh, we got a workout gear on, and we have that in front of us right now. That's I say friend. we lock the door on Celso. She stays out there. We keep this. She's already looking, going. Mm -hmm, I know that is so wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's shaking her head. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Too many cards we're, right there. <laughs> we're gonna tell you where you can maybe get some free kolaches coming up in the next couple of days. But first of all. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorskiva. Well, you know, we love celebrating things on SA Live, and tomorrow is National Pokemon Day. And it's been around what? About two, two decades, decades or so, at right? least, yeah. give or take. Like you know, so long. fans of all ages, of course. And that got us thinking what did you love as a kid that you still love today? What do you love? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I still love My Little Pony and Choose Your Own Adventure books. Y'all remember that? It was the late 80s. I have been trying to reorganize my garage and digging through old boxes and everything like that, and I found some old Matchbox cars and Tonka trucks. Oh I mean, the, the, the full big metal ones yes. that they used to have, the Mighty Tonkas and all that, and yes. some of my G.I. Joe stuff, and it just, it, it was like, just warm my heart. I love that kind of stuff. So. Yes, so share your comments on Facebook and Twitter. Tag us at SA Live KSAT, and you might see your answers later on in the show. Well, speaking of things you love, have you seen this? What? What have we seen? It's a popular new magazine. That's what we have seen called Live from the South Side. I'll take my cues. I'll, I'll pick up on my cues there, Fiona. Sorry about and that. speak, Mike. <laughs> it's getting the word out about local business. Hark, I hear the cannons roar. Uh, about local businesses on the city South Side. I've been at home the past few days, and we're featuring one of those great businesses today. If you're looking for a new outdoor spot for the weekend, families, friends, pets, lovers, pet lovers, this place is for you. It's known for its drinks and snacks that have that signature San Antonio flavor. And I just want to clear things up. That was a fake shot, so that's not my <laughs> no, There's no way if that was a real shot, I could correct it like that. Bonnie Robles is here. She is the head bartender for Brewster's Backyard Ice House. Thank you and for us. There is so much to talk about at this, but you are not going to believe it. But yes. first of all, we got to talk about some of the shots. Yes, definitely. All our shots are very um, south side friendly. They remind you of your local snow cones, you know, grabbing something from the ice cream truck, having a strawberry lemonade in your backyard, you know, mangonadas, you know, all our south side favorites. We try and incorporate them into our shots. Okay. okay. And Where are we we, what are we making today? What are we starting? We are going to start with our spicy mangonada cocktail. Okay. All right. So, so now you're going to go gonna ahead and grab your glass. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey. Ice. And now I'm going to pour the ice. Oh, the ice into the into glass. Into the glass. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Then your whiskey into your shaker. Okay. Pineapple juice. And you just tell me when because okay. you said there's a little more of this, right? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, mango puree. Mango puree, tell me what. Go ahead. 
That's it. Uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Go ahead. No, no, no. Like, keep going. All right. About how many different flavors of shots do you have there? We, oh my God, our possibilities are endless. We have literally, you name a flavor, we can make it. Really? So, yes. Oh, okay. So while she's straining that out, speaking of making a shot, what am I doing? And you, this is like a, a, some secret ingredients, right? Yes, very. Um, all of our, um, the alcohol that we Ooh. are using in our cocktails today, in our shots, we are one of the only bars in the South Side that carry them. That's so why we've got to disguise you them have to come problem. to Brewster's if you want to try them. Okay. So uh, what's the name of this one? I'm making. This is our one. Mexican candy. Okay. Super popular. Uh, go ahead and pour it in. A little bit of pickle. Pickle. Okay. Just a. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then. Sweet and sour. A little bit of sweet and sour. Uh huh. A squirt of chamoy. Yes. Top it off with Sprite. Uh, where did my Sprite go? Where did go? your Sprite go? Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that Sprite? That oh, yes, there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There Thank you go. You. Okay. There's the Sprite. A little bit of Sprite in there. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Go ahead and shake it up. I tell you, it's oh, a you fake have to rim shot glass. off the start of the show. You, so. can't, you cannot not rim your glass. So you have to rim your glass. Same way she did. Mm -hmm. Rim the glass. Uh, You're oh, hogging it's over it over here. It's <laughs> over here. It's over here. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Rim it there up there. There you go. And in it goes. And I'll just put the ice in there as well. So. <laughs> yeah, taste. Now, there's a lot of stuff on the menu there. Because yeah. not only drinks, but food. So it's talk about it? that. And talk isn't about it good? the free stuff folks can get. Yes. Yes. We offer um, free popcorn. We are the official home of the free popcorn on the south side. Free popcorn all day, every day, as much as you can eat. Um, our Sunday fun day, we have complimentary mimosas, free root beer floats, free big red floats till 3 p.m. So just go, just go. Mimosas, root beer floats, big red floats. Yes. And you've got games, 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 right? All kinds of games. We have giant Jenga, we have um, air hockey, we have connect four, we have pool tables, we have dart boards. You name it, we got cornhole, you know, we got it all. And know. every day of the week. Every day of the week. Monday is our game night. Uh, Tuesday we have free dance lessons with Roly Bella. He does free country dance lessons. Uh, Wednesday we have karaoke with DJ T-Rex. Uh, Thursday we have Throwback Thursdays with DJ Trini B. Friday, Fiesta Fridays with the Bad Boys. And then we have DJ Anthony V and MC Prince on Saturday for ladies night. So, and Sundays so, of and course. And then Sunday of course our <laughs> Sunday fun day. I mean it's family friendly pet friendly. We're going to have beer for dogs soon. So then and is there free root beer floats? Free root beer floats, free beer big red floats. Beer for dogs. So and there you go. Dogs. Everything. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, don't we have say... something. We are fun for everyone. That is our motto. We are fun for everyone. We have an amazing staff, great customer service, fantastic food. You have to try the sliders. They're amazing. It's just, it's a blast. I'm there even when I'm not working. <laughs> Next time you say, you've got nothing to do. Every yes, day of the week. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, if you'd like more information on Brewster's Backyard Ice House, go to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. <laughs> well, you may have seen live from the South Side on social media, too. It even has a partnership with KSAP.com. Yep, and the lady behind it is also inspiring her stepdaughters to be entrepreneurs and writers, known as the Crafty Cortez Sisters. And with all of those good vibes combined, this trio is featured this month in our Real San Antonians. Just, just Jen Tobias Trusky, it was not a real shot, has the story. <laughs> Owning my own publication was a childhood dream. A dream that's become a reality for April Monterosa. Her magazine, Life from the South Side, is all about sharing positivity. I think that's why my magazine has been successful so quickly, because when you're from the South Side, it's like you're part of this community. Everybody is family oriented. They just are proud of their community, despite what others say that are outside it. The magazine covers so much ground, they are partners now with KSAT.com, allowing a shared platform to deliver these positive stories, something that Monterosa is passionate about. Two years ago, I started SouthsideSanAntonio.com to highlight all the great things happening in my Southside community, and that became a business and I was hosting events, hosting influencer events, promoting small businesses, sharing stories, and then when COVID hit, 
I couldn't be out there, out and about anymore because of the whole crowd and social distance thing. Move forward to today, Live from the South Side is booming on all mediums, something even April finds hard to believe. And sometimes I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do this monthly. And then, you know, you get all these stories contributed because they want to, sh people want to share their stories or you get all these comments and, and, you know, like I said, fan mail. And it's very motivating to me. It's like, I have to do this. And her love for writing started early on here in her old neighborhood. I grew up on the South Side. I went to St. James all of my grade school years. And then I went to uh, South San High School. I wanted to experience public school. And that's where I graduated from. I moved away from the South Side for a little while, but I came back and I bought the house I grew up in. Showing that while she's representing her roots with her stories, more growth continues, including her newfound love and becoming a stepmom, and also a huge inspiration to her daughters, Bella and Ruby. So I have five stepdaughters, three of them are older, but the two little ones, when COVID hit, I started to stay with them. And they became very interested in all the things I was doing. I was writing a lot, but being together a month, month and a half, you know, just home, they, we really got to know each other and we really bonded. And that pretty much inspired them to open up their own business and to become writers. Uh, one of them just launched a book recently and the other one is working on one. And then they have their craft and accessory business uh, called the Crafty Cortez Sisters. Right when she came into our life, we weren't really that crafty. We'd always just watch TV, but out of nowhere, we, we started making like houses for our dolls. I said I was gonna write about my business and she just said that I could make it into a book if I finished it and she can pub publish it. So she's actually my first kid writer contributor because uh, I do have a kid section that uh, is in the magazine and I have four now, four kid writers contributing. Together this trio is planting many libraries like this one outside of Brewster's backyard. And they've teamed up with the Scooby Van San Antonio to share books across the South Side. It makes me feel good. Yeah. So you're excited for the next thing, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt Live from the South Side is much more than a magazine. It's planting seeds for more literacy, building a strong foundation for this blended family behind it, and shining light on people who work hard and they are proud of their South Side roots. I, I hope that when people read my magazine that they see all the good things that my South Side brings, all the, the culture that my South Side community brings. And when we share on social media, whether it's you know myself or them or the mag, I hope it inspires them to go after their own dreams and inspires their children to do the same. I hope it inspires other women to take better care of themselves or step parents to step it up and love their stepkids as their own because that does exist. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Dresky. What a wonderful story. And if you know a real San Antonian doing great things for the community, email us at salive-team at ksat.com and we feature someone every month who's making a big difference in our community. And for more on Live from the South Side, just head on over to southsidesanantonio.com. All right, so ahead on SA Live, how does free breakfast sound? When and where you can score free kolache right here in town. But first, it's half spelling bee, half butt kicking workout. We're taking up gym time with this fun game that will leave you sweating. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you've gotten maybe a little bored with your workouts already and want to shake it up, oh boy, do we have a, do we have one for you today? Yes, and the lady <laughs> joining us right now, Giselle Cavillo, owner of MixFit SA, our dear friend, is here to show us a really fun way to do some of those routine exercises. Good afternoon, Giselle. Good afternoon, thank you for having me back. It's good to be back here. Yes, okay, so this is a great workout to do with the whole family, because it's just all about having fun, getting active, get moving, and you have a, we've got the alphabet, yes. and each letter is assigned one exercise move, right? Yes, so it's name, it's called like a name workout, right? So we're trying to come up with great ideas, ways to mix it up at home and inspire our members and families and community to get moving. So 
everyone has a letter. So we're gonna start with your names, first two names. Okay. So we're gonna go Fiona and Mike. Okay. And we're gonna start with first, we have F and we have M. So the first exercise is gonna be mountain climbers. So Fiona, you've got five mountain climbers okay. and Mike, you've got three squat jumps. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Yes. yes. Let's go. So Fiona, five mountain climbers. Nice. There two, you go, you've two, got squat three, jumps. Mike. Three. All right. Five. Beat you. That's no. it. Oh, I have to go okay. all the way down, come back up. Okay. okay. Now we have eyes. So you both have eyes. Now we're going three, si excuse me, five side lunges. So you're going to step to the side lunge, step together, side lunge the other side. Go, go, go. Let's go. Oh. And there that's you go. one each side direction, lunge. right? Yep, one each direction. Two, okay. two, three. So the point is to move fast. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. There you go. I think that's more than three. That's more than three. Okay, now we've got an O for Fiona and we have a K for Mike. Mike, you're doing calf raises. You've got five oh. calf raises. Fiona, you have Russian twists, so you're going to come down oh, to the floor man. and it's a long you've got to twist it out. You've got calf raises. Okay, Mike, come on to one foot. You, let's see your balance. Let's see. Can you calf raise with one leg? There oh, you go. one foot. There you go. Good, Fiona. All right. Back up on your feet. I think that's five. Good. Okay, okay heart rate pumping. Okay, now we've got, now Fiona, you have an uh, end, so five squat, uh, excuse me, five jump ropes, five seconds. And then Mike, you have crunches. So you get down on the floor, Mike, you've got crunches. Five of them. So maybe you do it as a family, maybe you drill each other, okay? Maybe we even set a timer. Oh, sure. Don't, Don't hit your head. Head. Be careful. I think she put it there on purpose. You might need a helmet. Okay, good. You've got five, Fiona. Okay, good. Now, your last one, Fiona, is five jumping jacks, and Ooh. then, and then Mike, you got to get up and you. I'm going to make you hold. You okay? You're gonna, How many fingers am I holding up? You're going to hold a squat. So Mike's name is shorter than Fiona. So Mike, you got to drop it down. You got to drop it down to a squat. No, drop oh, it down to a squat. squat. Yeah, I'm going to make you hold it. Just don't it. hit your head. I'm going to make you hold it. Hold it. There you go. He's a, there you go. Five. Okay. So now your last names. Whoa. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. How many letters? Nine. That's oh, nine letters. I think this nine. We're going to need more too. time. Let's, get, let's, do, uh, let's do SA Live. That's short. Okay, yeah. Okay. So we'll just double the count. So let's go. Ten second jog. Ten second jog. Come on. It's normally five, but we're going to do ten. There you go. Two seconds. All right. Now ten jumping jacks. Yeah, mix fit. We double it up. We're pushing it. Ten. Good. There you go. All right. Now we're going to go five second plank. Come down to the floor. Let's see your plank. Elbow plank. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Now hop up onto that chair for tricep dips. Let's go. Tricep dips. <laughs> there you go, chest up, Don't shoulders back, come on, there you go, three, four, five, and then finish off, five crunches y'all, we've got a few seconds, let's go. You have to run a mile if you don't finish in time. Crunches. Run a mile? Okay, you can do standing crunches, Mike. What? I don't see it and mix that essay very okay. quickly. Okay. That's it, that's it. That's Take us to the break. <laughs> How can folks get in touch with you at Mixfit SA? You guys can check us out at MixfitSA.com. I appreciate you letting me bring this yes, fun the exercise. Are here. There you go. Grab one. MixfitSA.com. Group the fitness, watches. personal training, open gym. $45 a month, guys. Go to MixfitSA.com. Thank you all for having me. I hope you had fun. Try this out at home. Fun Try it out at home. Is out. Thank you so very much. And for more information, go to SALive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay, still ahead. Can't do a tropical vacation this year? Where you can experience Caribbean flavors right here in the Alamo City. And next, keeping the cowboy spirit alive. Why it's so important to keep supporting the rodeo and how you can help. That's straight ahead. Today's Rodeo Spotlight, sponsored by the Chevrolet Silverado. Well, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo has a big impact on people's lives. From its scholarship program to offering a head start on career paths, it helps kids find their passion through agriculture. In today's Rodeo Spotlight, we're learning about the life of one of those kids, all grown up now, who's heading the Fertilizer Institute in our nation's capital. Corey Rosenbush, welcome. Thanks, Fiona. I appreciate being called a kid again. <laughs> right? I mean, who doesn't? 
Island. And we're all, right. we're all kids at heart, right? So tell us about your history with the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Well, I have a long history, long before even my scholarship. Uh, I remember very fondly showing my uh, pigs at the San Antonio Livestock Show. So for me growing up, my dad was an ag teacher in a small town near Fort Worth called Glen Rose. So FFA and showing livestock was always just a big part of my upbringing. Now living in uh, Washington, D.C., my kids don't have the same uh, privileges, I will call them, that I did growing up as a kid. And uh, it was family. It's what you did on weekends and it's what you did in your free time and such great, valuable lessons. So is that, is it family and kind of being around that environment, is that what sparked your interest in agriculture? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I, I grew up with it. My dad was an ag teacher. My uncle was an ag teacher. My cousin's an ag teacher. I'm the black sheep of the family that moved to D.C. and is not an ag teacher. So um, just uh, being, being part of agriculture was a big part of my, my upbringing. I did, I did veer away a little bit uh, in terms of my, my last 15 years. I was in the food industry, which, of course, is uh, an important part of agriculture. I ran one of the food industry associations and in about a year year ago, had the opportunity to take the CEO role at the Fertilizer Institute. So our members manufacture any kind of a, a plant nutrient product that helps grow uh, the food that we eat each and every day. You've come so far. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, of course, how the Rodeo Scholarship Program helped you with your education. Well, without a doubt, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for that that's, that uh, scholarship program. So uh, being the state FFA president, um, it uh, really positioned me to compete for one of the scholarships. And I was fortunate enough to have the San Antonio Livestock Scholarship Program. It allowed me to graduate debt free. Uh, from college. That was back when, when college was a little cheaper. Uh, but uh, that, that scholarship was really instrumental in uh, my studies. I did study agriculture, agricultural development. That was my undergrad at Texas A&M University. And, um, and of course, the show had a little bit of a unique special part of my life because it's also where I met my wife. Um, as a matter of fact, it was on one of the scholarship uh, programs that I attended that I took a date who eventually became uh, my spouse and mother of my three daughters and we're uh, still married and living here today. So to say that the San Antonio Livestock Show changed my life would be an understatement because it did more than give me a scholarship. It gave me my life and my family. Thank you so much, Corey Rosenbush. We appreciate your time. President and CEO, of course, of the Fertilizer Institute. You can find out more about the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo and how to donate to help kids with their education at sarodeo.com. Still ahead on SA Live, kids and lifelong fans still love to catch them all. We show you some fun ways the Pokemon fan in your life can celebrate National Pokemon Day. Plus, freebie alert, find out when and where you can grab a free kolache. We get a preview of what they're offering next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, they are a popular breakfast or snack for people on the go, and Monday is totally awesome because it's National Kolache Day. Yeah, the Kolache mm. Factory is here in town, and they're celebrating by giving away thousands of kolaches, and this is just, it's overload right now. I can't now. even right now. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so here's what you got to do. This Monday, March 1st, you can go to the Kolache Factory on Glaber Road and say, National Kolache Day. I'm guessing That's any it. way you want to say it, <laughs> you can get a free fruit or cream cheese kolache. They are open from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and the freebie is good while supplies last one per customer. Do you prefer the fruit or the meat filled, by the way? Uh, which we one? Do you have a preference? I like the meat filled mm -hmm. kolaches. But the fruit ones are good too. So we're gonna play a little kolache game, mm. Mike, as you sample that. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a true or false quiz. You have 50-50 chance of getting it right. <laughs> true or false? Thank you. I was gonna say, <laughs> not unlike the weather. <laughs> I love you, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. True or false? Texas is considered the kolache capital of the US. True or true. false? You are correct. Czech immigrants started arriving in the mid to late 19th century. All right, next question, true or false? Kolaches are said to have originated with Germans. Uh, true. False. Kolaches originated from the Czech. Mm. The Czech. 
All right. Engineer. Yes. <laughs> Number three, true or false? The world record for the largest kolache was made in Texas. Okay, I'll go for it. So the, true. True. Right, false. Okay. It was made in Nebraska. <laughs> Prague? Prague, Nebraska? Really? I, I just learned that. Okay, it was cherry filled and weighed more than 2,000 pounds. Oh my gosh. All right, next question. Traditionally, the first kolaches were made with meat. True or false? True. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. uh, false. Really? <laughs> kolaches are traditional filled with fruit, the first ones with apricot and prunes. Really? I am learning I this thought, along I with thought, you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know these answers either. All I'm I know is they're good. Reading what they say. All right, last question. Kolache comes from the Czech word for wheel. True or false? True. True, correct. Because the original shape was round, not the long kind of oval type ones you see today. All right. For more information on the Kalachi Factory, go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, nice job. Thank you, Louie. All right, I next on SA Live, can't get away from spring break, where you enjoy some delicious, where you can enjoy some delicious Caribbean flavors right here in the Alamo City. But right now, pipe leaks are a huge problem after last week's snowstorm and those frigid temperatures. Case out local expert John Wayne Service Company has some helpful tips. Hi, my name's Steven with John Wayne Service Company. Today we're at one of our customers' homes that has a leak in the backyard. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that for them today. Let's go check it out. So if there's any time a customer says that they have a leak, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come out and find your meter. This is our main source and water source of the whole home. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up this main city meter right here. Right here is gonna be the meter. This little dial, if there is a leak in the home, you'll see it spin. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself a meter key or a curb stop key, and you're gonna go ahead and put it on right here, and then you go ahead and turn it off completely. And that will turn off all the water going to the home. Yes, there are other ways uh, to turn off water. Sometimes there'll be a box in the front of the meter with the ball valve right here with the red handle. You go ahead and you pull this up, that as well will go ahead and isolate the whole line going towards the home. Now that we have the water turned off to the home, we're gonna go ahead and look at the problem in the backyard. Let's go take a look. So what happened here today is that a PVC-90 ruptured underneath the decking, preventing um, pressure going to all the fixtures inside the home. Uh, the recent freeze that happened uh, went ahead and ruptured the PVC piping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna restore the flow to the home for the homeowner today. That's it for right here. Let's go ahead and make our way down. Once again, my name is Steven. If you have any plumbing issues, go ahead and give us a call or go visit us at johnwayne.com. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we'd like to take a moment to congratulate a member of the SA Live team. No, he didn't eat that whole plate of food. <laughs> David Elder tried. was just named uh, Best Influencer and TV Personality, San Antonio Magazine's 2021 Best of the City. But you know what I also saw in that magazine? Hey, congratulations to the KSAT weather team because they got Best Team for making weather interesting. So yay for you guys too, oh my gosh. A bunch of nice, bunch of great folks. Anyway, hey, congrats everybody. also obviously to uh, David, our favorite foodie. We gotta work on the doggy bag situation though, we're not getting enough of those, David. <laughs> we are happy to know that he is your favorite as well. And speaking of David, he's shedding light on black owned restaurants this week on Texas Eats. And here's your first look at one of the places that he's gonna be visiting. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here just north of downtown San Antonio at the Pearl to go inside of a restaurant inside of the bottling department that's making all kinds of delicious Jamaican and Caribbean cuisine. Let's go check out Mirochi. Joining us now is the executive chef out here at Mi Roti, Chef Nicola Black. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show. So when I opened up Mi Roti, I wanted to kind of change how people think of Caribbean food. The menu here kind of allows us to do that 
while still focusing on the main prize of roti. Now, what is roti? So roti is a Caribbean style flatbread. It was brought to uh, the Caribbean islands from the Indians. We make it here daily. We actually make it to order. So every time someone comes, they're getting a fresh roti. The roti out here at Mi Roti, it tastes like they got a tortilla, deep fried it because it's all puffy, and then slathered it in butter. I mean, it's just next level good. This <laughs> is where it's so at. So more popular in the Caribbean, it's more eaten as a wrap, uh -huh. and you would stuff it with ingredients. Yep, so these are on. our jerk lamb uh, ribs. David's dipping it inside of our garlic sauce. And yeah. David's liking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. This lamb chop is out of control. Nice char on the outside of it. And the way it's marinated, all that flavor just goes straight down to the bone. And you mix it up with some of those pickled items in the bowl as well. It's just game over. It's so good. If you want to go big and bold, you can go big and bold. You got the pork belly over here. So talk to me about this. You have it in the bowl and you have it in a wrap. Yes. So this is the pork belly bowl. It's a pineapple habanero glazed uh, pork belly, but it's not too spicy. Yeah. You've got the uh, cilantro lime rice at the bottom, your choice of veggie. Now that is our hot pepper sauce. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> hot pepper sauce. We're going to do it. I'm going to go for it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You made this into candy. Oh yeah, yeah. This is next level, like just over the top. I'm gonna take a bite of this wrap because that is just over the top. This yeah. is the mango chutney sauce. So if mm -hmm. you want to um, pour some of that, that's more like a sweeter version on your wrap and it'll kind of cool your mouth down some. Oh, okay. This is where it's at. Here we go, take a bite. If you love pork belly, you have to try their glazed pork belly dish out here. You can get it in the wrap or you can get it in the bowl, but either way, you got to get the hot sauce with it. The sweetness from the sauce, from the chutney, when you take the bite of everything, it just rounds it all out. And this vehicle, the roti, it's nice and crunchy, it's flaky, you're getting the textures you want as well. I mean, you know what you're doing out here. <laughs> wow. Try. A vegetarian option, right? Yeah. So we have a, um, this is our coconut curry chickpeas. It's made with like chickpeas, spices, and potatoes, finished with uh, uh, curry and coconut milk. Hey, don't forget to watch the full hour of a brand new Texas Eats tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. right here on KSAT 12. Next on SA Live, from clothes to plants. After 25 years, Pokemon is everywhere. We're helping you celebrate National Pokemon Day next. But right now, here's a quick message from Spurs legend Tim Duncan about Black Restaurant Week. Let's go San Antonio, support a second week of Black Restaurant Week. I'm excited to announce that Black Restaurant Week is extending its program for an extra week. When you're hungry and ready to order, check out the 30 participating restaurants. Together, we can make this the biggest week in the nation in supporting black owned restaurants. Thank you to all the participating restaurants. National Pokemon Day, and it celebrates the launch of the original series that premiered 25 <laughs> years ago. Does anyone else feel old? Oh my gosh. Today, we're helping fans young and old feel, uh, feel great and get ready. Our friend, lifestyle and gift giving expert, Jen Munoz, joins us to show us some of the coolest Pokemon items she's found. Welcome. Thank you. I know. I cannot believe it is 25 years. You found some cool stuff for the kids, right? Yeah. So the first thing is, you know, everybody's getting used to like either your packing school lunch or your packing lunch at home. Um, so I think this Pokemon bento box is the cutest thing. Looks like a Pokeball. Um, so you can start your journey to becoming a Poke Master by actually um, packing your own lunch and making that happen. And then, of course, we know. They love collecting Pokemon cards and all those fun things. And you can collect the Funko Pop games too. We have uh, Squirtles. There's all, they come in all different shapes and sizes for the Pokemon characters. And then if you're into wearing things, um, Kohl's has a little Pokeball belt for the kids. So they can kind of put that around and it's got the little balls on there and they can get out and pretend they're, they're catching Pokemon. Um, and then of course, last but not least for the kids are those headphones. So really super cool. looks like Pikachu. You can put those on and 
you know, use, use your phone as you go out hunting Pokemon. Now for the fans that are a little older, since it is 25 mm -hmm. years old, why do we keep saying that? <laughs> uh, wh what have you got? <laughs> Yeah, so the first thing is those like Pikachu sunglasses. Like you can wear those anywhere. Pikachu is always like a, a, home, a household favorite, right? Those are fun. And then there's obviously a wide assortment of t-shirts and things. We've got a great one from Macy's that's a unisex one. It was a partnership with Levi's that they did. So there's all kinds of Pokemon on that shirt. Um, and those are perfect for fans everywhere to really show their spirit. Um, and then there are um, some uh, like Converse inspired shoes that are by Cartoon Kicks. So if you're a sneakerhead and you love Pokemon, you can grab the little Charizard high tops and kind of walk in the footsteps of, uh, of trainers that have gone before you. And there's even some stuff for around the house. Yeah, so my favorite, I think, is the Pokemon popcorn maker. It literally looks like a Pokeball, and that's got to be some great popcorn from GameStop. Um, there's also, um, there's a guy on Etsy who sells those little Bulbasaur succulent planters. So you can put your little air plants in there, which are fun. I don't know if you have any of those around the house. Or if you want a nightlight before you go to bed, there's a great one that you can you know, have. They come in all different, again, characters, but this one is a Charizard one. And then we've got that bombs, which are always a, a fun thing to be able to put in there. And then if you're going to be cooking and doing some stuff, whether that's activities for you and the kids around the house, um, there's a whole cookbook dedicated to um, creating things that are Pokemon inspired. Oh my gosh, all great stuff and some other ways to celebrate National Pokemon Day. Yeah, so first stop, always Party City. They have everything that you need to kind of make the, the headquarters for your party. So whether you're doing a big balloon bouquet, you know, I love my balloons, or you're doing a, a themed party and you need tableware, um, or, you know, putting a pinata out in the neighborhood and letting kids hit at it, whatever it may be. Or last but not least, you can always get out there and try to catch them all, play Pokemon Go. Um, and I have heard that now you can play it from inside your house and the characters show up around your house. You don't have to go out into the neighborhood searching for where they're where they're hanging out all right great stuff and great advice over there with great pokemon celebration ideas jen munoz for more information on her and all those products just head to our website salive.com and click on the as seen on sa live tab monday on sa live it's burger week in the alamo city we're showing you a creative twist on the classic meal we all love all that and more monday on sa live have we got deals for you welcome to ksatdeals.com get ready to revolutionize your bathroom experience and stop using toilet paper how do you do that with a bidet the slim glow bidet attachment by bio bidet also features a night light bio bidet believes that everyone deserves a clean and comfortable bathroom experience you'll get everything you need to transform any toilet in your house it's an easy diy installation place the attachment and connect directly to your water supply with a provided brass adapter and braided metal hose. Requires no electricity, no wires, no extra plumbing, no hassle. The bidet has pressure control dial knobs, plus you'll save a bundle on all of the toilet paper that you won't have to buy. Now the retail price, $79. The case that deals price, $49.99. That is a 36% discount. Head over to caseaddeals.com for this deal, plus many more. Earlier we asked you what toy from your childhood do you still love? Transformers from Justin. Yeah, they were his jam. Oh, classic ones. I found it, I mentioned off the top of the show, my Mighty Tonka car carrier that I had in there. Some of my old Matchbox cars too, just brings back the memories. Love it. Oh, uh, look at that. I wonder what it's worth now. I was playing with it yesterday too. So I wonder what it's worth. You have to check. We'll see you Monday at <laughs> one. <laughs>